We believe the Word of God teaches that there is one God, not 2, 5, 10, 12, 15, one God, manifest in three persons, three different personalities. We believe there is a Heavenly Father, we believe there is God the Son, and we believe the Holy Ghost as Mr. D. Dot mentioned, that came upon Mary, is also God. They are indivisible, meaning they agree perfectly. They are one in unity. They never disagree. They never have disagreed. We believe that when you get to heaven, if you get there, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will be seated according to the Word of God by the right hand of the Father and will actually maintain that throne forever, basically. That's what we mean by the Trinity in a short nutshell. You see, the idea of the Holy Ghost in Christendom is that he's one in a Trinity. But the Christian says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. In his catechism, he continues that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But there are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues, your catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. That's what Brother Swagger says in his book. Person, person, person. But not three person, but one person. I am asking what language are you speaking? I'm asking, is that English? By God, it is gibberish, it's not English. <laughs> you see, you said person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, Brother Swagat, you and your two other brothers, let's say you are three identical triplets, and we can't make the difference out between the three of you. They're all identical. We can't make out the difference. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? You say no. I'm asking, why not? So you tell me that he's a different person. I said, right. What makes him different? His personality. So the father, you know, imagination, the human mind, you can't help. When you use words, they conjure up mental pictures. When you say in the name of the father, you have a certain mental picture of that old father Christmas, Santa Claus, millions and millions of times bigger than man, but something like a man sitting on some planet with his feet dangling onto the earth as his footstool, the heaven as his canopy, the loving father in heaven. When you say God the son, I'm asking, are you thinking of a prize bull or a false one? No. You're thinking of a handsome young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, handsome features. Something like what is on the King of Kings, Jesus of Nazareth, you know, uh, or the day of crime where Jeffrey Hunter was acting. You know, handsome young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, handsome features, nice beard, not with a poly nose, with a crooked nose. That might make other pictures come into your mind. You know, Shakespeare made Shylock famous. Is it Shylock? Shylock? No. You see, so you're thinking of somebody like an Englishman or a Nordic or a German type with a straight nose, the sun. And the Holy Ghost, something that came like a dove when Jesus was baptized in the river Jordan by John the Baptist or something that came in flames of fire at Pentecost. I said, the picture is not very vivid, but the picture is there. You have three distinct mental pictures. And however hard you try, you can never superimpose those three pictures and create one. There'll ever be three in your mind. But when I ask you how many pictures you see, you say one, you are lying to me. Brothers and sisters, you are lying to me.